Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and another super cool Cards the Universe and Everything uh, event deck. Yep, I forgot what we were doing there. Event 19, a mixed bag and I love this event. Absolutely awesome. Let's have a look at the event and then we are going to show you the deck and then we are going to go and play the game. So what is this event? Uh, at the start of the game, four of each of your random common ocean cards, rare paleontology cards, epic space cards, and legendary history cards gain 150 power permanently. Uh, please note Shinigami costs plus 20 energy to play in this event. I think they've realized that Shinigami is a little bit broken in the events, but anyhow, so no surprise, I've got four common oceans or from riding the waves. Uh, four cool paleontology cards. I'm not going to go through the deck. We'll look at it as we play the game. Four cool epic space cards. The one there to note, the cosmic engine. Really good. Try and get that one. And then I've gone with four legendary history. Charles, obviously. Longsword is a good one. Martin Luther and Rat King. And then my two wild cards. And I'm going to try and play these when uh, I'm going to lose a round. The World Turtle, which if you don't know, is a 4 4 4 and 4 deck. Um, so that's pretty good and super massive black hole because that will buff up our space cards nicely deck code is p b j t c d let's go and show you how good it is see if we can get a game and there's the energy energy is okay not too bad 20 starting 13 per turn and three rounds three turns eight points for a win three for a loss and there we go minimum energy is 10 that's quite useful as well so there's that deck super cool let's go and see how we do and that was the good one there that paleontology one there that's that cosmic engine i said definitely worth putting that one in your event deck and anything else i should show you nuclear pasta i've gone with not too sure about nuclear pasta probably might look for a card to swap him out with Anyhow, here we go. Jackie 001. Okay, good luck, Jackie 001. Here we go on the event. Three rounds. First one is Life on Land, which is a bit weird. There's no Life on Land cards. Oh, we got one, actually. So there we go. That 150 buff is pretty nice. Crypto Keras, Nuclear Pasta, 552. So the whole point with my deck here is um, I tried to win 2-1 and try and get that world turtle and super massive black hole circulated if i can to give the cards a real big buff for the final turn bit of a gamble but it seems to be working at the moment let's see how we do here They're a little bit behind i'm sure there's some other good cards it took me a while to put this one together the event only started what an hour and a half ago i think uh, so it's taken me an hour to put the deck together. I tweeted it a little bit, but this is what I finished up with at the moment. But I think tonight I'm going to do a live stream and we are going to do the event. And hopefully together we can try and build a much, much more powerful or more successful event deck. So let's keep going. We are still behind, 73 behind. So it looks like we're going to lose. I wouldn't mind maybe getting World Turtle or Charles. Cydonia I like to hold. Not really sure if it's the best strategy in this one, but Charles, Rat King and World Turtle to get that 14 buff. 595, probably going to lose this round. Although he's only got two cards there at the moment. Jackie. Oh no, there we go. I think we're going to lose this one. Yeah. Okay, we are 1-0 down, but the good news is we got World Turtle round and Charles and Rat King will come back round in circulation, which is good. Or well, certainly Charles will. So we're now on the oceans and seas. Those riding the wave cards are quite good. I'm not sure about Octavius as well. It locks itself for a round, but it's a high scoring card, seven for 91. That's why I went with that one. And Longsword, there we go. This is a cool card. This really helps you win. So 730, we're gonna knock 100 points off him. He's burning, by the way. We got the door to hell in there or something. Interesting choice. So 730. Martin Luther, yeah, a lot of people seem to be playing Martin Luther. The Great Attractor, hang on, what does that do? Your cards in hand lose minus five. And, oh, that's the one to swap with Nuclear Pasta for sure. Okay, that is a nice card. So we are 15 behind. Salvador Monitor, no, that's no good. 
Okay, we are 15 behind. Let's see what we can do here. They're super massive. Can't really play that at the moment. We might not be able to play it this game. Five, three, six. This is going to be a little bit tight, actually. He's got two science cars in his hand. So those are his throwaway cars. Ooh, we're still going to be behind. We are going to be behind. What have we got coming around? Anything good? Not really. <laughs> oh dear, 41. 41, what can we do? Uh, there's that nuclear pasta. I'm definitely going to take nuclear pasta out. I'm going to have to play it this time though. And there is Fram. What's Fram going to do? 219. Uh, 630, not too bad. He needs 590 to win and we're out. But let's see what we can do here. Oh, <laughs> oh no. We are so, so lucky. I think we just won that by three points. <laughs> Two points. Oh, nuclear pasta. <laughs> okay, yeah, definitely going to swap. Nuclear pasta for the great attractor, I think. That looks like a good card. We'll fit in nicely. Okay, here we go. We were very, very lucky on that game. Very lucky. But every point counts in the events, as you probably realise by now. So let's just go for it. 588, average score. Sidonia could win us the game here. Oh, that's close. This is close. That's a nice card as well. I was thinking of going along the Sharks route, but I just couldn't find any good Sharks. So... That's why I went with riding the waves. Uh, there is Charles. That's good. World Turtles out the game, basically. And Supermassive is pretty much out the game. So we've got to go with Sidonia. 794. Come on. Oh, we should be a couple of hundred points ahead now. That should. Oh, no, he's going to get a nice buff. Yeah, that's good. That Fireworks Galaxy. That's not a bad card. But I think I prefer the Great Attractor. Maybe fireworks instead of Jupiter, but Jupiter gives us a bit of energy, so I like that one. We do need the energy at the beginning. So long sword, let's go all yellow, 696, minus 100 off him, plus the 133. I think we've got this one now. Still quite close, but there we go. Nice win. Let's go and play another game. I do like this event, but before we play, I am going to swap out a nuclear pasta for the great attractor. And let's see if that makes any difference. Invincible, three out of three. I think that means we've won three games in a row, isn't it? That's good. Three event games in a row, that would be. Okay, so let's go and edit this deck. So Nuclear Pasta, what does it do? That's the one with the permanent buff. Not a bad card, but I think the Great Attractor. Always good to steal people's ideas. You can't say hand lose minus five this round. This game plus 80 this round. Yeah, that's definitely because that makes that a massive scoring card, actually. Don't believe I missed that one. Okay, so let's save that deck. So actually, that deck is now on the left. PBJTCD. That should be the one with the great attractor in it. And let's go and play Isik Azifix. Isik Azifix. <laughs> good luck, Azzy. Okay, here we go. So this should be a good game. So everybody getting the 150. We got super massive in our hand. The one thing I like about super massive, it also got that secret ability for Sidonia. So if you can't get it around, I'm going to take a gamble here and get him around at the beginning. I wouldn't normally do this. Four, eight, nine. We're kind of throwing around. Also good to look for their throwaway cards in the event because it's quite obvious what they've got. Ooh. 624 Pirates. That's a nice choice. I like the Pirates. That is a good idea. But I wouldn't want to give up Charles and I wouldn't want to give up Martin and I wouldn't want to give up Longsword and I wouldn't want to give up Rat King. So actually, I think I prefer my four history cards to your four Pirates. Okay, so we've got three Paleo. So yeah, there's that Octavius. It locks up, it clogs up our hand a little bit. Maybe that one needs to come out as well. But I've had great success. So I'm going to leave it in for now and oh what do we do what do we do five four three yeah let's hold him until he plays some paleontology cards he's got two in his deck that uh synthecosirus card is great it knocks 25 off their paleontology cards really useful jade emperor not sure about that i did look at that one 
but the buff's just not worth the risk because he's only one for zero or something. Okay, let's go. Another gamble. If we can get World Turtle round, what do you think? He's got four paleontology cards in his hand. That could make up for World Turtle. Four, five, three. Go on, play three payload cards. That would be great. Is he only playing two? No, he's never. Yeah, there we go. Oh, <laughs> that was a good score, though. Okay, we kind of threw away that first turn, but I wanted to get World Turtle round as well. I'm feeling confident that we can win the next two rounds because we've also played at Super Massive, although we don't have Sidonia yet. That's a little bit concerning. There he is. So Charles, Cosmic and Octavius is now clear, which means we can play him. He's good as cool, good card. Just don't like it clogging up my hand. Seven, seven, nine. That's a really nice card. Yeah, I'm not sure about that card either. The Cryptocerus. There's a little bit of damage, but maybe there's a better one. If you can think of one, let me know. Okay, that's nice. 792. That's the benefit of sending that World Turtle and Supermassive Black Hole round. Gives us a little bit of extra power when you need it. And there is Longsword. That's nice. We can probably hold Sidonia now until the end. 299. And uh, 202, 720 again. That's another great score. With the 170, he needs a massive score. I think we're going to get this round. So it's all going to go down to the final round. So can we make it another victory in the event? I do like this game. Or well, this game, this event, I should say. Quite good fun. And the events are great because it does force you to look for other cars that you've probably never ever used, you know. That's what I like about them. So we're holding a Sidonia. Martin Luther's looking nice. It's going to give us a bit of extra fram. It's good. And Rat King, 723. Look at that. Three 700 scores in that round. That is really good. Oh dear, he played. What is, why is his card so low? I don't see what happened there. That's weird. Why are his Oceans and Sea cards so low? I must have missed something. I don't know what happened. Okay, here we go. Final, final round. Let's see if we can get another victory. Super massive. I'm not going to play. Sidonia is looking really good. As is HMT Empire Windrush. Nice. Brontosaurus. And what should we go with? Let's go with that one. 690. A little bit lower than last time. Oh, he's not going to win with Jade Emperor. 686, that was close. That was close. Yeah, I'm not sure about Jade Emperor. Why didn't you go with another pirate? Okay, Sidonia. Uh, let's have a look. Super massive, 7 for 101. Still not a bad score. I'm not going to use it, but... Let's go with Sidonia. I want to keep that Palo... Uh, Synthocerus. Oh, don't play two paleontology cards now. Oh, damn, I should have not ended the turn. Never mind, we should be all right. I was going to say I was holding Synthocerus there to play at the end when he played his two payload cards. That would have knocked 50 points off him, but never mind. 65 in the lead. Our Sidonia is gone. Come on, Charles, you can do it. You can do it. Hopefully, he's going to play those two paleontology cards. He's played one. At least we're going to get hit one hit. Minus 25. 721. This is going to be good. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Another nice win for our event. So, hope you like that deck. Do let me know if you've got any better ideas. Like I said, tonight we are going to do a live stream um, on the event, I think. So, do come back and check that out. But in the meantime, have fun. Enjoy Q. And we will be back, as I said, tonight. Probably about uh nine o'clock game time uh something like that whatever time that is in your zone i have no idea but anyhow have fun enjoy the weekend and we will see you soon bye